Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. The man, the myth, the legend is finally here. Nicholas Cage. I've been waiting for this for over a month and I've been really excited to finally be able to buy it today and test it out. One quick thing is that usually paragraph DLCs usually cost about two to three dollars. This one costed about ten dollars and that's because if you actually buy the DLC then you get one of his store cosmetics for free. Well, technically not for free, but a couple dollars off if you really think about it. But we're going to waste no more time. We're going to get straight into a match. All right, bat him. All right. So this will be fun. So I brought... You know, this, just this particular fog, you know, not like that every other fog in this game sucks. Alright, so I brought in his three perks, and then I decided to bring in Boon Exponential. Because Boon Exponential could actually really help with plot twists. It is pretty surreal seeing Nicolas Cage being able to use my magic, though. Alright, my Boon is up. Okay, Corrupt Intervention is one of the perks in play. Now we just need to figure out who is the killer. Okay, it's one of the base... Ah, it's Trapper! Ooh! Plot twist. In use, question mark? Ooh, that's a Yoichi. That's a Golden Toolbox, though! Yeah, that's a Golden Toolbox! Nice. Yeah, it definitely has his likeness. I can only imagine how the other survivors feel seeing Nicholas freaking cage in the fog with them. Yeah, see, there's the golden toolbox. It doesn't really do much. It's just kind of one of those fun things you can do in Dead by Daylight. I kind of wish you could get an achievement for it. There's a generator. We're on a generator. Nicholas freaking Cage knows how to work a generator. Alright, he's on Claudette. Hopefully the other Yoichi is going to... Is going to save the Yoichi. Actually, I should probably go do it. His perks are definitely very fun. They're more for perks that you would do, like, meme build with than actually, like, trying to be competitive. Oh, hey, Claudette. Oh yeah, let's we'll just go ahead and heal him. Oh, Claudette, you need to heal too? She needs a healer! Alright. So is this a one-person generator, or is this a two-person? Oh, this is a two-person. Okay, sweet. Yeah, come on, Claudette. I need you to be useful to me. Now, there were a few other things that were changed in this chapter, or this update. One of the things is that the survivors now have new portraits. And I mean, they're much bigger portraits, because the original ones were quite small. But I won't complain, because that's still a pretty cool change. It's a nice graphical one. Especially when some of the survivors have had their portraits for the longest time. In fact, Claudette, one of the original survivors, has the same portrait she had, the same portrait she had when the game first launched. And it probably just felt like it was time to change them to the developers. Alright. So. Hope to go save Yoichi here in just a moment. You have to be careful though, because it is a trapper. So we could have laid out bear traps. And this map can be kind of dark. Dramaturgy! What did I get? Okay, I guess I scream. Nothing too powerful. Let's go, boy! What, really? Well, that's lame. Aha. Look, Claudette. Claudette. Oh, dang, she's got the jigsaw charm. Look at that. So she's been playing since at least 
New Year's of last year. Dang. I mean, I've been playing since September of 2021, but that's still quite a bit of time. Alright. We're gonna need to do a generator. I need to rebuild my dramaturgy. Because dramaturgy is definitely a fun perk. It's kind of like Deliverance or Blood Run. It's a very risk and reward perk. Now his other two perks are Plot Twist and Screen Partner. Screen Partner is probably the worst one, but it still is pretty useful. So what it does is, it's kind of like Premonition or Spine Chill. When you look at the killer and the killer is looking at you, you scream. Now, the scream is more of like alerting the others, because then it just sounds like a repeat of, his, of some of the other perks in the game. However, this one, of course, can alert the survivors instead of just letting you know. Now, does it let the killer know, though? So, I think it's better than the other perks. Plot Twist is another fun one. Here comes Trapper. Oh, well that figures. <laughs> oh, that was just horrible luck. Ah, I was I was actually kind of wondering if he would follow me. His screams, I don't really like them. Because they they just end too quickly. But that's all that. I actually really like the design of Nicolas Cage. I like the outfit they chose as well. Because I believe this was actually from an upcoming movie for Nicolas Cage. Uh, what's it? Uh, Symphony of the Devil. Or Symphony of the Devil. One of the two. I'll look it up after this. Claudette, are you... Claudette? Claudette, please. Yeah, remember Claudette. Oh, well, that just sucks. Claudette's down. Oh, yeah, that's right. They also removed... Apparent they also apparently removed hook grabs. Meaning... Killers can no longer play that stupid mind game of just like standing at the hook while you while you stand there. Okay, Claudette um, got off the hook by jumping off. Trapper, Trapper! Bruh. Oh shoot! <gasps> oh wait, wait! Leave me, leave me! No, don't don't pick me up! I can't believe I did that. I wasted a really good pallet on that really good building. Someone please help. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cage. We'll get you off the hook. <laughs> oh, that was really bad. Okay. So Claudette's down. And he still is oh! Oh! Nice work, Claudette. Although, you're kind of screwed now. Okay. So now I should probably heal. Oh, dang. I just realized we haven't, like, done... We've only done, like, one generator. We're terrible at this. Or at least I'm terrible at this. He doesn't really have any perks to do generators. I mean, generators take like 90 seconds, mind you. Why would you even try that? Actually, wait, now that I think about it, he is in the Boon Exponential ring. Oh, yeah, but he's dead anyways. Okay. So, I guess it's up to me just to find the hatch. That's okay. Another thing is that they decided to implement survivor disconnect bots. Probably one of my favorite features, because I've always been one to never really like hate the DC penalty. Of course, unless of course this like, has to do with internet connection. Because then I absolutely despise it. 
But even then, those don't really happen too much. So. What are you doing? Okay, bye! Oh. Bye! <laughs> okay, well, that happened. Oh, 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 oh. What happened there? Shelter Woods. I got this map earlier with my buddy. Hmm. I hate this fog. <laughs> yeah, so as you noticed, Nicolas Cage is also the very first survivor to have voice lines in the trials. This is new for Dead by Daylight because up until now we have had characters with voice lines, but they were only in the lobby. They were only in the lobby. This is brand new, of course. Because we've had several characters who have talked before. One of the characters, of course, that started all was Ash. Now, Ash frequently had voice lines, and, and he would say them quite constantly. Then the next ones were the Resident Evil characters, who had very infrequent voice lines. Like, you wouldn't really get them that often, and it's probably because there was like eight of them. There was four base characters and then four legendary skins. So go figure, I guess. And then after the Resident Evil characters, the next ones were the Lyra siblings. Next one were the Lyra siblings in the Tools of Torment. However, only to get them, you have to have both the Lyra siblings in the lobby, and they'll talk to each other. And they'll even have voice lines in Portuguese, which is, of course, the Brazilian language. So that's always fun. And then after that, we had Gabriel with, with In Transmission, who just released last month. However, he only had about three voice lines, and they were very, very rare. I guess they really didn't want to use um, Steve Boiser, who was the voice actor, last time I checked, from Monster Factory, who played Gabriel. I would need to double check just to make sure it was him, though. Although, last I checked, I'm pretty sure it was Steve Boiser. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. I could be butchering his name entirely. But Nicolas Cage is the first survivor to talk during the trials. And I guess it's probably because they don't really get the chance to work with such big actors. They worked, of course, with Bruce Campbell, but Bruce Campbell is one of those actors who has his moments of fame, and then you don't really hear too much from him again. Because Bruce Campbell played Ash, and that was his big-time role. That's what he's most known for. And that's one of the only things he's really known for. I mean, he does have other movies he's played in, but they're not really as known as the Evil Dead franchise. No offense to Bruce Campbell, I love his work. So when you get the chance to work with, of course, big Hollywood actor Nicholas freaking Cage, they weren't exactly going to just do bare minimum. They were going to go all out. They got his likeness, his voice likeness. They even got his personality pretty close because Nicholas Cage has always been one of those very interesting individuals in the world. They even, of course, took advantage of the fact that the reason that Nicholas Cage even became interested in Dead by Daylight was because of Sadako, otherwise known as the Onria. If you didn't know, he was a he's a big fan of the Ringu films. He's probably a big fan of the Ring films, the Americanized version. I, but I could be wrong, because he, he specifically mentioned Sadako. He really didn't mention uh, Samara, or however you say her name. You, you guys know who I'm talking about, of course, because they almost look the exact same. And I'm hoping they do this more in the future with specifically licensed chapters. I kind of don't want them to do it with original chapters because, you know, eventually we're going to get tired of it. So saving it for licensed chapters, or even like sequels to licensed chapters, like how we got the Resident Evil characters voice lines with the second Resident Evil chapter, which I didn't really complain about that. Of course, I would love to see more licensed chapters do stuff like this. I would really, really love that. 
Alright. Wanna finish the gym? Alright, let's go. Now Dramaturgy isn't really overpowered. It's it's pretty good though. I would say it's a very fun perk. It's not really used to make a meta to be meta breaking. Plot twist is very strong though. However, you can only use it once. Which, of course, is the drawback that a lot of perks need. Now, I'm gonna bless this totem so I can have a better chance with plot twist. Yeah, I really don't like how his uh, hook screams are. They don't sound right, in my opinion. Most, cause most of the hook screens are actually much longer. They're usually about two or three seconds. That only felt like a second and a half. Of course, I know that doesn't make a big difference, but it's still, like, noteworthy. Alright, let's open this chest. We're in Skull Merchant's base. Alright, there's a Nicolas Cage right here. Hey, buddy. Okay, he's downstairs. Don't come upstairs. Okay, he's not coming upstairs. He's still after the Nicolas Cage that's down there. Poor fella. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go back to using to working on this chest. I mean there's no point because I already have a med kit. And yeah, see, there's only there's a brown med kit. Alright. Okay, see? Now we need to hide. That was only like a s Oh my gosh, that scared me. There's a drill. I forgot how much detail there was actually in this map. I mean, the chapter, the Tools of Torment chapter is pretty bad. Don't get me wrong. I didn't really like it. But I do like the design of this place now. Do you need to heal? You do not need to heal. Okay. Not now, Gmail. Dang, Gmail. Yes, come here, Nicholas Cage. Well, other Nicholas Cage. Here we go. Double Nicholas Cage heals. Where could this go wrong? How does how does he feel that there's three of him? He seems to be fully aware of the situation he's stuck in. So how does he feel that there's three of him? It's, it probably feels weird, probably the same amount of weird as, well, probably even more weird, than the fact that he's also stuck in a universe where Sadako is real. I mean, I guess you could technically say Sadako is real, but now she's real and ready to... Scared me. Now she's real and ready to kill. Bruh. There's my boon. I don't know where the... Oh, yes, that's a nice look at the forehead. Okay. So, she's down. She's dead. So, I need to... When are we going to be getting a drill as a cosmetic for, for the Skull Merchant? I would genuinely like to see that, honestly. I might even play her. I might even play her more. Well, maybe also if they fixed her issues. Okay. Where is he? Okay, he's he's dead. He's picking him up. Oh shoot! Dramaturgy! Oh, I got a flashlight! So wait, wait, does he just pull that out of like his jacket? Yeah. Take that. Okay. 
Okay, there he is. Now I gotta find a generator to work on, because that um, blight might go after the ugly other Nicolas Cage, and there's only two of us left, and I have not been hooked whatsoever. I am actually impressed with myself, because sometimes I'm usually the first one to get hooked. Then again, I have like over 2,000 hours on this game, and I play this game a lot in my spare time, so I guess that makes sense. It could be anywhere, honestly. All right, let's look around. Whew. Come on, Hatch. Come on, Hatch. That's a toolbox, I don't need that. Okay, he found the hatch. So now I have to be strategic about this. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. That is not good. That is bad news. Yep, that's bad news! Okay. See? Skills! <laughs> oh, oh, that was fun. That was really fun. That was extremely fun. Okay. Alright, well, I'm dead. Alright, treatment theater. I'll tell you this, though. Whenever I load into a game... It or, like, oh, sorry. Whenever I load into a game, or whenever I start trying to load into a trial, the queue times take forever because everyone wants to play Nicolas Cage. Maybe I shouldn't be. Yeah, that explains it. There she is. That's a huntress, and it looked like she was wearing the Alice in Wonderland skin. Sick. But we need to find a generator. There's bound to be a generator somewhere around here. There it is! Hello fellow Nicolas Cage. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 that hit? Impressive! Oh, no, 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 no. Yep. Yep, I dodged your hatchet. Breaking news, I dodged a hatchet. Mom and Dad would be so proud. She's still coming after me. Dang it. There she is. Jump down. Okay. Still? Oh no. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh crap, I forgot about that. Hey, wasn't there just a wasn't there just a generator there? I I saw sparks, didn't I? Alright, so I'm on the hook now. Alright. Um, hook's kind of a little bit off my body, but it's okay. Okay, there is the Feng Min, or the Fong Min, because, you know, that's what they said in the anniversary stream. Alright, thank you. Alright, give me a nice heal. Thank you. By the way, I don't know if you guys know, but when you log into Dead by Daylight, and if you have purchased James Sunderland, 
the legendary skin for Cheryl Mason, you will actually get a cool charm. And the charm is apparently of the dog in the dog ending of Silent Hill 2, which is the game that James Sunderland is from. There was a dog ending, right? I, I, I'm not I'm not crazy, am I? There was a dog ending, right? Hello, Fang. So she's after Talita, who got a new cosmetic as well, which is, I actually kind of like. And hilariously, and I was thinking about this earlier, it's the first cosmetic that actually covers her stomach. Because all her other ones seem to be like a crop top. What is it with these girls and showing their stomachs? I don't know. I'm not a... I mean, I'm a ladies' man. Uh, ladies. Brad. I'm a ladies' man, of course. <laughs> That, that sounded like I had a... That did not sound good. Okay. Oh, shoot! Oh, what, what, really? What are you doing? Oh my god! No, give me the Talita! That's not Talita! She stayed really close to Talita, that's for sure. Yes, Talita, I see you! Uh, and my thing is all the way over there. That's problematic. My thing is all the way over there. And I can't exactly make it there. Thank you. You finally get over here to pick me up. And of course you don't go to the hook they're sabotaging. Great. You're still at... You're at one... One gen Oh. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. No, she's still after me. Great. Come on. Yeah. All right. Dramaturgy. Wish I had you. Dramaturgy, my beloved. Come on, guys. What are you doing in the basement? Come on, F Fong. I need you to be useful. Okay, well, actually, none of anything. Okay, she's gonna camp me. I hope you guys are able to pull off something good. And I'm gonna have to listen to that loud noise. Where's the basement? Oh, wait, that's Talita! I'm sorry, Fang. I didn't mean to just accuse you of standing in the basement like a moron. Okay. Guys, please. Oh, shoot. Alright, so, now, my strategic plan for now is to first open the exit gate. Oh, well, that's a good look at his chest. My strategic plan for now is to open the exit gate. Well, not open it, but, you know. Oh, crap, I forgot. He's still in the range of my totem. Meaning, all I need to do is plot twist. Now, I'm very quiet. And I have no pools of blood. So, what all I need to do... Okay. Alright, go! Okay. Ah! 
Alright, we're outie! Come on! Oh, I got a map! Alright, I'm out! Nicholas Cage is out! Nicholas Cage is out! Nicholas Cage has won the trial. Oh, uh, both Nicholas Cages have won the trial. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. All right. I would say I did really good there. You know, his perks are a lot of fun because I actually got to use plot twist that game to a good effectiveness because it's 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 a little bit hard to use it because in my opinion you kind of need to run a perk like unbreakable or boon exponential and then stay in the radius of that boon so it it, it kind of works like using um uh, old old um old circle of healing it kind of works like that to me so i i think that his three perks are really really awesome i think they're very fun too i love dramaturgy like, that's probably one of my favorite perks for him. Oh, that's probably my favorite perk for him. My least favorite is Screen Partner. Yeah, Screen Partner. And I do really like Plot Twist as well. So, all in all, I think this is a pretty good addition to Dead by Daylight. I, I don't think it's going to be meta-changing. But I think this does say about stuff that Dead by Daylight is going to be doing moving forward. Which is hopefully bringing us really good paragraphs with hopefully more celebrities i would love to see more of that but that's all i have to for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching make sure you definitely buy nicholas kate i highly highly recommend it and i will see you guys on the next one bye bye